ladies and hello gents. Palm Springs Cindy and I am coming to you from my den slash office. I have sort of a different video for everyone today and today's video is going to focus on face care on the kinds of creams and lotions and ointments and oils that we need to keep our faces looking the best, looking healthy and looking really the best that we can look. So recently I met one of my neighbors. Her name is Brooke. She lives very near to me and we have become friends and she has developed a line of face care face care products, and she's going to be bringing them over today, talking about them, explaining them, and we're gonna do sort of a question and answer, kind of just a little uh, female get together hen party, talking about the products that she has designed, that she has made, and more about her company. Now, this, uh, my uh, YouTube channel is focuses on mature women, what it's like growing older in a world that values youth. So through my videos, you guys have gotten to know me. You have uh, been with me through many years, uh, years recently of divorce, of uh, purchasing my own home, of decorating it, making new friends and building a new life for myself. And so part of, um, Part of growing older in a world that values youth is trying to maintain our health, trying to maintain um, our skin, our hair, our bodies the best way that we can in a natural way, in a, um, in a way that is not outrageously expensive. And so that is what my friend Brooke has done. She has, she has a little piece of that market that has to do with skincare. And so today when she comes over, when she arrives, um, she's gonna set things up and we're gonna talk about her products. I want you to get to know her. She is a great example of what it's like to be a mature woman who is um, redefining herself, starting her own business, making her own products, following a desire and a dream of her own. So you might notice um, I have I have no makeup on. I just got out of the shower. I ran the uh, curling iron through my hair. I, um, I'm hoping to be able to put, to use, to apply some of her products so that we can talk about them. I can, I can use them. I can share with you what the fragrance might be like, what the texture might be like. She can explain to you what the value of the product is, how it works, what it does, what the ingredients are. So anyway, you guys, I hope you stay tuned. I want you to meet Brooke, and I want you to see what she's done with her life as a mature woman. Hey, you guys, Palm Springs, Cindy here, and I have my friend Brooke with me. So, um, so Brooke, now Brooke is the gal that I told you about in the introduction. She's my neighbor, she's my new friend, and she has a line of skincare products. So I'm gonna let Brooke talk, just, I want her to introduce herself and for her to share with you how she got started, how this whole thing got started. Okay, Brooke, yeah, go. Okay, well, um, I, like many of you, have had multiple careers and uh, one thing I always wanted to do was play with skincare. So I um, had been selling it for a while and got curious about how it was made and went back to school, meaning um, online uh, certification programs and that kind of thing. And I started messing around with making skincare and formulating. I was lucky enough to meet a chemist who decided he could be my mentor. And I started making things and taking them to the dog park when I made too many of them. It was basically just supposed to be for me and my best friend. Um, so we called it Just Us, but it was never meant to be a business. So I would go to the dog park and say, hey, you know, I've got leftover, do you want some? And people would start handing me cash. And then one day, my husband and I were in the bathroom and he happened to notice this wad of cash in my makeup drawer. 
and he said, what's that? And I said, oh, you know, the girls are paying me just for some of the products I've been making. He's like, no, but you can't do that. What if something happens? You need liability insurance. You need to be an LLC. So he made me turn it into a business, which I did. And I've taken it from there. I've been blessed enough to meet a wonderful partner uh, who does all the, the social and the marketing and the, I mean, she's just the MBA person. And I'm the formulator. I'm in the, the workshop mixing up the, mixing up the goods. Okay. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love how that got started when you said at the dog park. It was at the I mean, dog park. Like how organic is that? It doesn't get any Right, better. right. I feel like a drug dealer to be coming yeah. up, to, up to me and saying, here you go. And I love that your husband f found your cash and said, what's this about? I know. He, well, he's a lawyer and he wasn't going to be very happy if somebody got, you know, if somebody was allergic to something or, yeah. But those are things we don't think about. So no. good for him. Yeah. Good for him. Right. Okay. So Just Us is the name of her brand. It's the name of her company. So I want, she brought over it like it's, I'm going to say starter kit. Good. Okay. So this is called the Desert Hydration Glow Kit. And how this was born was I was living in LA, making products for LA, which is a, a coastal, but dry, but coastal um, city with its own set of skin problems. But I knew we were coming to the desert. I knew we were moving to the Palm Springs area. And I was a little freaked out about it because I do have a skincare company. I was heading towards 70 and I thought the last thing that would be good would be for me to look super dry and wrinkled down in the desert. So um, I kind of went back to the drawing board and created this set of products to do what I wanted them to do for me in my location. And the three things that I wanted the set to accomplish was wrinkles, hydration, and age spots. And so with that in mind and knowing the ingredients that I wanted, I set about starting from a cleanser and going all the way through to nighttime, sprinkling those ingredients at their maximum recommended usages across these products. So um, the idea of it is, is that each of the products is standalone. I, I'm not saying, oh, you can't buy this or that. But my idea was if you use this after this after this, at the end of the day, you will have this concert happening on your face of ingredients. Yeah. Okay, okay, I love that. Okay, now what, two things, yeah. keywords. Number one, ingredients. Right. And number two, I love concerts. So, <laughs> <laughs> so all right. Start with like what? Start with what you want to start with, and we're going to talk about what it does and what the ingredients are. Well, okay. Or so, however you want. To yeah. Do it. Well, the thing with the ingredients is that because it's my company and I'm close to the ground and we're nimble. I'm not trying to rip anybody off or cheap it out. If an ingredient says maximum recommended dosage is 20%, it's gonna be at 20% in my product. Uh, I'm not trying to be a billionaire. I'm not trying to sell a company. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make really good stuff for people I know and people they know, mm -hmm. and then people they know. Yes. So we use a lot of global ingredients. We use a lot of old, um, old like medicine techniques from the rainforest, from Africa, from healers and people that have been taking care of skin forever. Mm -hmm. But we're also big fans of the lab and peptides and actives and those things. So it's a blending of botanically based ingredients with scientifically proven active perfect yeah that's that's kind of what's in here perfect. and I, I can go through the order and kind of okay. why okay and then you can okay i'll do it on you stuff. and i want um i want you guys to know that this is also uh what's it called um animal friendly or... yeah yeah it, yes there were no the only animal that may have been uh hurt during the production of my lines is my labrador 
um, <laughs> catching her nose in my workshop drawer. Okay. But good. other than that, no, no, <laughs> no animal, animal no, testing. Uh -uh. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna see what's in that. Can. Okay, well, first I wanna start out by okay. just saying I brought you, because it's we're going into the holidays, be the first to have our holiday lip gloss. Say, well, I have to admit, I just used it while you were talking. You did? Yes, I yes. did. It looks great. I did. I just, I'm so proud of so, myself. Uh, yeah, I am too, because... I'm not really, you know, into it, color cosmetics, but I couldn't help myself. It's very emollient. And it's almost, I would call it like a... It's a little bit of a tint. It's um, a raspberry meets yes. coral. Yes. Okay, good. Feels awesome. Yeah, it's it's really clean. Um, Yummers. And so when you get one of the, when you get this set, I throw that in. Thank you. I You're love this. You're welcome. Get from my lip balm. Okay, so we're going to take everything out. Um, mm -hmm. The way this works is that I've noticed with myself that I do not do my skincare routine with my glasses on. Um, I don't think most women do. So oh. <laughs> what I did was I made giant numbers to put on them. So when you're at your sink and you're doing your thing. Yes. It says one. So you don't need to like be squinting at it. Awesome. Okay. Step one. Step, Step two. So on. Yep. Perfect. Yep. You just line them up, light a candle. You do your you time, whatever you want to do. Okay, so let's assume that you your face is clean. Yeah, right? okay. I just got out of the shower. I have a clean face, no yeah. makeup, except for my lip balm. Okay, so we won't wash your face, but I'll show you. The, um, the cleansing cream is really uh, fluffy and uh, yummy. It gets off mascara, which was mm -hmm. very important to me. I don't like getting mm -hmm. bogged down in too many cleansing things. It's very, um, now I'm going to show them. It's really. gentle. When she said fluffy, she means fluffy. It's almost like a whipped cream. It is like a whipped cream. That's exactly right. And it smells, it has a very subtle fragrance. Yeah. It's pretty, a very natural fragrance. Yeah. It's got some, um, green tea in it. It's very, um, it's very, soothing and to the extent it's on your face for a few seconds um it it's got some hydration going on but its main purpose is to get your face clean get your your makeup off your eye makeup off so you won't skip that step now right? okay so i would put this on you i would put, like to dab it on warm water sets it up okay. rinse it off you could use a washcloth or not, however okay. you like to do your thing. Um, this is included in the package. Okay. It's just part of what you get because it's a simple, easy cleanser. Okay, awesome. Okay? And it does suds. Yeah, it does, but mm -hmm. it also has, what I, the idea was behind this was it was sort of the intersection of an oil cleanser, which I never understand. I, mean, I always yeah, want it yeah, to, yeah. I'm always like, yeah, get the oil it's, off my so face. it's a cleanser, but it also have, has added jojoba oil in it okay. to just give that, that glide. Mm -hmm. And it feels, it feels really good. Okay. It looks good. Okay. So number two, we're going to mist. So in the old days, you'd think of this as like a toner, right? Mm -hmm. Not a toner. This is probably one of the most important things I've ever made. This is called Titan and Glow. So what it has in it on the botanical side is Neroli mm -hmm. Hydrosol. It's got a lot of moisturizing complexes in it. It's got, um, um, instead of, instead of a, um, a physical scrub, it has a fermentation in it that naturally gets your cells to continually be refreshing themselves. But it also has in it a peptide called Azuraline. Mm -hmm. And Azuraline is very, very expensive. And people tend to, you know, walk the Azuraline by the product and say, oh, it's in here. Right. Not me. Um, it, this actually has a lot of this tightening mm -hmm. ingredient in it. Some people say it's like a, oh my it's gosh. Like, I know, right? It's, it I know. actually gave me goosebumps, it's, you guys. It's so dope. It, uh, 
it, it's it's really really good. I uh, this is like the first thing I tried mm -hmm. to make because I wanted this azureline on my skin because I read that it was like a um, like a Botox that it really tightens, tightens wrinkles. It also has in here something to deal as mm. all the products do something to deal with age spots, which is mm. a P. Believe mm. it or not, P protein, P E A oh, protein. Okay. Um, and so it's hydrating. It deals with the spots and it deals with the wrinkles. And it's luxurious. Let me tell you, it is luxurious. The scent alone is well, it's just um, beautiful. Yeah, that's all I can say. It. Yeah. It is, and it's not scented. Oh my god! Well, it's very That's it, the, the it's scent. earthy, but I mean, it does have it's, a little flavor to it. But it's just so it's soft a, and mild. It's half neroli hydrosol and half rose hydrosol. Okay, that's the base of it. Okay, then numero three is called transform, and transform is. For me, I wanted this exactly like I wanted it. I wanted those anti-aging peptides in it. I wanted a lot of them. I wanted it in a hyaluronic acid base. I wanted it hydrating. I just wanted, frankly, when I made this, I wanted a thing I could take with me on the plane that would kind of do a lot of different things. Mm. That was before planes mm -hmm. were something nobody wanted to go on. <laughs> but um, that's the idea of it. It's really, it doesn't seem fancy. It's a gel, it, it smells nice, but it is loaded with amino acids and hydration complexes and, um, and then the lab-based actives, the various peptides. So kind of a, a no-brainer, always have to use this. Okay, so that was three. And then moving on to four, or what we like to call the pink stuff. You have this I love pink. pink. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. This is like, it looks so girly and it's so, it's so, just try, it, it's very, very okay. like, um, mm. slidey, yummy. It looks very feminine, mm. but it is a ball buster. It is, this is um, loaded with things that we find in the desert, like extracts from desert plants, mm. cactus, mm. aloe. Um, this is really designed to protect you from the elements. So we live in a really dramatic climate down here. Yes. But it's not that different than an arid climate isn't that different than, like, say, an Arctic climate, but it's this is an intense, dramatic climate. It's like severe, it's severe, just, and so like Arctic severe. Yeah. yeah. So you know, you really have to put what your skin needs on it, or you're going to be really surprised when you look in the mirror one day and go, "Wait, what, what happened? happened to my skin?" <laughs> um, so. Also in here is niacinamide, which it has to kind of be somewhere in the routine, in my um, opinion. And then um, a couple of other magical ingredients in here are wheat. Ooh. Wheat is really a softening agent. Peach, um, ginger, apple, uh, plum. The scent in here is plum oil. Plum oil mm. is really rich and yummy and it gives it its its scent and um people yeah, it's just beautiful yeah i mean i want it for the look of it yeah and the and the feel of it but the thing that's cool about it that i hadn't planned on i didn't realize was that this also really acts like a primer like right so when you put your mm. foundation on you want your you want it to glide uh -huh. you want your pores to be yes. like to be primed. To be primed. And it does that. So. Awesome. Four. Numero five. This is called Meta. Um, this is the, your standard, what, what you would think of as night cream, 
but it's night cream to the end, okay. right? So it's got the butters and the oils mm -hmm. and the uh, ingredients from specifically the, the rainforest is really represented here. It also has some science in it. I wanted to make one. I didn't want to do day cream, night cream. Love that. I thought, you know what, women aren't idiots. Mm -hmm. If they need less, they'll put on less. Right. If they need right. more, they'll put on more. Right? right? Absolutely. Duh. Right. So this is, um, you can, oh, yeah, go for it. Um, it's really, really uh, works hard, but it's not gross. It's not like it doesn't leave a, um, a thickness on your skin. Oh my gosh, it's so wonderful. Yeah. You know, it just melts. My body heat melts it into yeah. like a, a, a lovely cream that's thin and uh, easy to, to apply and just goes, sinks into my skin. Yeah, and what's in here, which is kind of cool, is these butters that you don't see often um, in face care because they're expensive and um, sometimes hard to come by, but there's a butter in here called Bakuri butter, which has been used um, by Brazilian women forever. Mm. It's just a brown, nutty, mm. fabulous butter. There's Kupachu, there's Procaxi oil in here, there's a Buriti oil, mm. there's acai oil. So this is all natural stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh no, this is you have to remember, I didn't start this as a business. I started it for me. Yes. And no, I want you guys to notice her little um, graphic of the hummingbird. Yeah. So precious. So simple. So delicate. Um, That's my mama. Oh, I love that. Okay, tell us about the hummingbird and your mother. Uh, well, or when when my mom passed, mm -hmm. um, I just felt like, when I saw Hummingbird, that that was her. Mm -hmm. So I'd say, hey mama. Mm -hmm. And my partner at one point said, you know, we need an image. We need like a, mm -hmm. a thing beyond mm -hmm. our name. Part of the branding. She goes, so. oh, I just hate this, having to find an image. It's just, uh, why does everybody need an image? Mm -hmm. And she said, I'm just gonna send you some. And the first one she sent was this Hummingbird she painted. And I said, no, that's good. That's it. That's it. And for those of you guys who aren't familiar with hummingbirds, because we get hummingbirds in the desert, but they kind of, if you're out in the yard and there's a hummingbird, they kind of come up to you and flutter. Yeah. And almost like, hello, hello. And then they whiz away. Right. So they, they are, they're just a cool bird. They're very yes. spiritual. They yes. just, they really, mm -hmm. I, I kind of feel every time I see one, it's, you know, just mm -hmm. a, a spirit saying, Hello. Yes. Stop and take a breath. Yes. Last thing, second to last thing, is this is a this is a product called Condition. And this has taken me to the mat and back. I've worked for two years on getting this formula right. It is not as easy as you would think. This is what's called an anhydrous form formula. It has no water in it. It has it is only oils and butters, mm. but there's oils and then there's oils. So I didn't want it to be greasy. I wanted it to sink in. It's a bomb. It's a beauty bomb. But in order for the butters and oils that I picked to do the things that they do, helping with elasticity, helping build collagen, helping with melasma, in order for those to do what they needed to do, I also had to figure out how can it soak in and not be greasy and be used as part of this whole thing. So, I've got it now. She's got, it's the bomb. <laughs> it's the bomb. Um, it looks, it may look like baby food, uh, <laughs> baby food, baby whatever, but it is by far and away the best mm -hmm. thing that you can have if you're, you know, one, aging, two, in a harsh climate, um, and three, it's got some really cool beauty mm. functions to it. So I use this after that last okay. meta and before I put on foundation. If I'm, if I'm doing a daytime with a makeup thing, 
I'll try to keep it just on the cheekbones and on the side of my face so it'll, you know, create some glow. Uh -huh. um, but you did it. You, you, you can use it however you want as long as you use it. Okay. At night, it should be the last thing that you put on your face. And even though it might look really like sort of greasy for a minute, give it five minutes and it, it okay. just, it soaks in. It feels wonderful. Yeah. All the products feel when you touch them and apply them and they go, you know, they go on to your skin. They just seem to, it's like a magnet. <laughs> yeah. It's like they, they just, they go together. Yeah, your face almost your my skin almost reaches out for it. I they, love that. Yeah, it's um, it was really, it was it's hard. You know, it's like making a signature dish that your family is gonna love, and they want grandma's recipe, and they don't know that grandma took like four years to get the recipe mm -hmm. right. So you know, it's it's um, this is it. This does what I want it to do. Um, and I can't say enough about it. It also is really good if you have like um, eczema or psoriasis, mm -hmm. if you have, um, yes. uh, say you've been in the sun or the surf or the mm -hmm. whatever, it's, it's a repair bomb. It really does hard, hard work. Love that because yeah. you know, I mean, in the desert, if I'm in the pool or even out in the backyard or walking Shelby, you know, it's like the sun just, the, the dryness just yeah. zaps our moisture. Yeah. So to have something that's reparative, it is just needed and wonderful. You know, one thing that I'll say to your, um, your people is when you're out and you're wearing sunblock during the day, when you come home, if you're home, you're gonna be home for the rest of the night, mm -hmm. wash your face and do your night thing as soon as you get home. Because sunblock, while it's busy protecting you from the sun, is also not so great for your skin. So the shorter mm -hmm. amount of time that you have it on, the better for your skin. And if you do your, your night routine when you get home, then you don't have to do it when you get exhausted and now exactly. you've fallen asleep in front of the TV. That's exactly what I end up doing. But you can have just leave one little thing by your bed, mm -hmm. like your leave the condition bomb by your bed and just put a little on before you go to sleep and you're good to go. You're good to go without having to yes. go there. I love that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So how many products are there? Did you get there's a, there's six? seven. Oh, I didn't seven. I didn't do the eye gel because I haven't given it a number. I think people know when they want to put eye stuff on and okay. when they don't. But this is a really great product that deals with puffiness, Thank which you. Wait. Yeah. Um, it looks very cucumber-ish. Yeah. Look how beautiful that is. It's got an ingredient in it that helps with circles and bags and um, wrinkles. It's It's a... It's a very friendly product. Um, I frequently, to be totally honest, forget to do an eye thing because I'm always up in here working on the mm -hmm. glow with the different ingredients. But um, for people that really struggle with the puffs and the baggage, this is a great product. So Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so. This this is your kit, I'm gonna yep, say. That's the kit. I know that you have other products. Right. But we're not gonna get into that today. No. And this is what you need. This is this is like this would be the golden handshake right here. Yeah. And then if you want to go above and beyond, of course you can. So, um, oh gosh. Uh Brooke, I it's like I'm impressed that as a woman you you know, like you did it. You know, you didn't think about it. You didn't wonder. You didn't fantasize. You did it. And, of course, I have a zillion questions, which we won't go into now. But, like, what about the packaging? Where do you go to find a bottle to put your stuff in? Where do you go to find a little thingy that looks like this to put your product in? You know, that's sort of the infrastructure behind what, what she has gone through today. And that 
takes research and mm -hmm. that takes time. And that that is what she's done. And so as a mature woman, she has taken that on and I applaud her for that. Thank so you. today is not just about sharing an awesome product. It's about celebrating a woman who who walked her dream out, who said, I'm not just gonna think about it, I'm gonna do it. Because I tend to think about it. <laughs> so when I meet people like Brooke, it's very inspiring. She's, a, she's an inspiration for me. And I hope that she's an inspiration for my viewers as well. So with that, you Thank guys, you. you are so welcome. You're so sweet. Mm. I can't believe you just rolled into my life. Mm -hmm. Like, no, you, you rolled did. into mine. And, um, all right, you guys. Can, can I just say one more thing? Of course. To your people. If any of you out there have specific issues that are really yours and yours alone that are bothering you a lot, I also do custom. So you are welcome on my website at justusskincare.com. There's a get in touch. Get in touch with me. If you yes. need something, I can generally make it for you or boost something that we already have. And I will put all that information in my details as well as um, any kind of other, like I'll put her website, whatever information she wants to give out, I'll have it in my details. This is, um, you know, it's not necessarily a sales pitch as much as it is an information. Um, I just wanted you to get to know Brooke. I wanted you to get to know what she's done and the quality of her products. They're awesome. And and so Thank you, sweetie. You're, you're so welcome. Such a good <laughs> neighbor. Neighbor. P.S. I love you. Until our next conversation. Bye bye.